Okay, I'm going to show you how to graph in my math lab. Uh, so first I'm going to graph a linear equation right here in the problem, x minus y equals negative 8. And this problem is asking me to graph the linear equation by finding and plotting its intercepts. So I'll go ahead and do that. Um, without showing the work of how to do it, I'm going to tell you that the points are 0, 8, negative 8, 0, and 2, 10. Now, you're not going to have that bar down there at the bottom. It's going to be blank like this. But as soon as you click on the graph, that bar is going to pop up. Okay, you ready? 3, 2, 1. Okay. And this will allow, allow you to draw a line, or an absolute value, or a parabola, or a horizontal parabola, or a circle. I'm going to grab the line, because I want to draw a line as a linear equation. And now, when I click on here, and I click two points, you see it makes a line? Now you can also, if you make a mistake, you can drag the points around to where you need it to be. Okay? And if you make a, a big mistake and you want to just start over, you can hit clear. You sure you want to clear it? Yes. Okay, and now I have my blank graph again. So let me gra grab the line, and now let's put the real points. It's going to be 0 and 8. So that's 0 to the right in the x direction, 8 in the y direction. Now my next point is going to be negative 8, 0. Negative 8 to the left and 0. Once you click the second point, it only lets you click two points to make a line. Once you click the second point, it's set. Okay. If you made a mistake, you could drag it, but I know I didn't make a mistake. My test point is 2 and 10, so that would be 2 to the right and 10 up. Boom, right there on the line. I don't need to click a point there. I'm just using that. I'm just visually inspecting that to make sure that that point, my test point, is on the line. Okay, so if I click check answer, this will be correct. All right, I'm going to clear it because I want to show you how to graph two more things. I'm going to graph a parabola. Uh, I chose y equals x minus 4 squared plus 3. And here's my parabola tool right here. Uh, and when you click your first point, watch this. Here's the first point, and then your second point, you see it makes a parabola? Like a big smiley face or a big frowny face? And your second point will, will set it. So let me clear this. All right, I grab my parabola tool. X minus 4 squared plus 3. That's going to go 4 to the right, the vertex, 4 to the right, and 3 up. 1, 2, 3. That's the vertex. Now I need to click on a second point, and I am... I found 5, 4, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and up, 1, 2, 3, 4, boom, that's my parabola right there. Okay, and then I'm going to show you a circle, clear this, here's your circle, and I am choosing a circle with a center of 5 and negative 2 and a radius of 3. So 5 to the right, 2 down, I click that, that's the center of my circle, and then look, as you go out, makes a circle. So I need a radius of 3. I can go up 1, 2, 3 up here. That would be the same thing as if I went to the right 3. 1, 2, 3. Exactly the same. Exactly the same as if I went down 3 or to the left 3. I'd get the same circle. 1, 2, 3. Radius is the same all the way around. Alright, so that's how you use the graphing tool with my math lab. Okay, and you always, once you click on the graph, you always want to look down here at the math palette and see what your tools are. You can also zoom in sometimes, make it bigger, right? You can zoom out, make it smaller. You can even pop this window out right here right? and get yourself a, a completely different window. I don't like that. I'm going to close it. All right.